Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another tutorial video. My name is Jay. So yesterday, uh, someone named Robin T-E-W-O-L-D-E-1992 posted a comment how to pass information from one window to another window. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to basically do just that. Before we dive into the tutorial, let me just give a quick demo on what we're doing in this exercise. So here I have a window, and this is going to be my main window. And assuming that uh, this main window is a data entry window, I have two fields, a name field and the age field. And let's say if I type my name, J, and my age, uh, 1999, if I click on confirm, the second window is going to pop up, and it's going to display the information based on my input field uh, on the main window. And I can close the second window, and change the information. And this time I'm going to change the name from uh, J to Mark. I'm going to change the age from 99 to, let's do for, let's do 45. And if I click on confirm, and the secondary window is going to pop up, and it's going to display the information based on the main window. Now we know the purpose of this exercise, now we can get started. And to avoid uh, doing any redundant work, I'm assuming that uh, most of you guys already have some experience writing a PYQT application. So I already created a script to pre-build some of the widgets. So if we just quickly look to the script, here's the library's import. And I have a main window, as well as a second, secondary window. And I named the child window a second window. Now if we go to the main window class, within the main window, I set the width to 800 and I insert a main layout object and the layout object is going to be a vertical box layout. I also use the set style sheet method to uh, configure some of the uh, appearance of, of my uh, Qline edit widget as well as my uh, label widget. And below is the uh, widget insertion. So I create two in, uh, input fields one for the name and one for the age, as well as uh, two labels uh, to, to indicating what the input fields are used for. And below that, I have a push button to open the second window and followed by uh, passing the information. So to pass information from one window to another, and usually all I do is uh, within my second window, so within a different uh, window widget, in this case will be second window. I'll create a method. I'm going to name this method display info. And within the display info method, what I want to insert is uh, self.show. And this statement will display the second window. And now let's go to the uh, close button. So for the close button, I want to uh, insert a method. Actually, I don't even need to insert a method. Uh, since the close buttons is purely is going to perform the window closing function. All I need to do is I just need to insert the statement self.close and that will close just the second window whenever a user click on the uh, close push button. And that's everything we need to do uh, for the second window. Now let's go back to the main window class. And within the main window class, I want to pass the information to my second window. And to do that, I'll create a method. I'll name this method uh, passing information. And to connect the second window to the uh, main window. So here, uh, within my main window, I'm going to construct a second window instance. I'll name the instance self.second window is equals to second window class instance. And once we have the second window object created, now I can go back to my pass information method. And here I'll uh, insert the second window object. And to reference the input fields, we can just uh, enter the input field names. In this case will be, uh, let me go back. In this case will be input one and input two. And to display the text, I want to use the set 
text method and followed by the text I want to display. So the first uh, field is going to display the name and the second input is going to display the age. Should this should be age dot text. And once we pass the, the information to the second window input fields, we need to call the display info method of the uh, second window instance. Second window object dot display info. It will call this function to display the second window. And I assume that's everything we need to do. Now let me save the script and run it. All right, so I'm going to enter my name, J, and my age, 99. And if I click on confirm, and I don't see the window pop up, let me check. Oh, okay, so here we've got one really important uh, critical step. So we need to attach the pass information method to the confirm button. So I'll type self.confirm.click.connect and I'll supply the pass information method. Now let me try again. So if I save and run it, and my name, my age, and confirm, and that will display the second window with my information from the main window. If I click on close, and that will only close the second window, I'm going to rename my name to Mark. And I'm going to change my age to uh, 40, actually 55, and click on Confirm. And that will display the information from the main window to the second window. So this is I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.